everyone, Letty here. Today I'm going to share with you hashtag Crafty Goals 2023. This is a 6x6 six six paper pad smash. It's Coffee and Friends by Echo Park. Welcome everyone. So I am participating in hashtag Crafty Goals 2023. One of my goals is to smash small paper pads. I've got Coffee and Friends by Echo Park. This is a 6x6 six six paper pad. It has 24 double-sided sheets. There are 12 designs and two of each design. One of the things that I noticed about this pad is that there are a ton of cut-aparts. I was unable to use all of the cut-aparts um, as cut-aparts. I went ahead and used the B side of the paper for some additional pattern prints. Um, one of the projects I want to make was gift card holders and so I figured I would make some coffee related gift card holders using this paper pad um, and I'd be able to add them back into my stash for future use. So I did go ahead and smash this entire six by six paper pad. This is Coffee and Friends by Echo Park. This is just a project share video. Um, here were my scraps. So I had one little cut apart. It's like a two by three. And then I did have some little scraps. Normally I use these whenever I make cards, but because I didn't, I had some left over. So I made nine coffee themed gift card holders. This, this is a design that I like to use. I also made 16 artist trading cards or ATCs. That's one of my other goals for uh, hashtag crafty goals is to make ATCs each month. So I made nine of these gift card holders. I ha do have some tutorials on my channel. I'll link one at the very end of this video to make how you make this gift card holder. It's super fun, super easy. And I think it just looks really, really cute as far as the overall presentation. That's what they look like. So I'm just gonna kind of go through, you see how these are all coffee themed i really like the soft pastels of this paper pad i thought it was just really really fun the the muted just really calming i guess um the muted prints the light pink the light green but then with the bold black and the white so i think it just really works and so i i really wanted to add some additional gift card holders into my stash so i thought that these turned out pretty great considering uh, these were just from a little six by six paper pad i do close these up with a velcro dot from dollar tree um if you've seen one of my previous uh, tutorials on on this you'll know you know that's one of the little tricks is you can use a velcro dot to close this up i have seen other people make this um and they use like a belly band to close this again i like the velcro dot because i think it's just so much easier so then i made 16 atcs these are just little cards that will have my information i can pass them along in happy mail i can hand them out at events i had some of these little scraps left over and some of the little cut aparts i added some enamel dots and just made some very very quick and easy atcs um here recently in the last year or so i have been going to some in-person events with toby one of my friends here on youtube she's Biddy Penny. Um, I'll link her channel down below. So we have gone to some events and I have needed ATCs. And so I thought I would just bulk up my stash throughout the year, make it easy on myself. So one of my goals is to make 10 every single month. So this month I was able to make 16 right out the bat um, with this coffee collection. And so I think these turned out pretty cute considering these were all like my scraps that were left over after making my gift card holders. So that's what they look like, 16 of those. So again, I made nine coffee themed gift card holders and then 16 of the ATCs to add into my stash using the Coffee and Friends 6x6 paper pad by Echo Park. This was again, a 6x6 paper pad smash. And again, it was for the hashtag Crafty Goals 2023. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you're able to make these projects too. Thanks for visiting everyone. I hope you subscribe, like this video, follow me on Instagram. Here are a couple of videos I think you might enjoy and happy crafting.